Well, guys, I think today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in, uh, finalizing some welds, capping some stuff off, and then putting in some gussets. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do in this one. First start off with cutting some eighth inch, two inch, I think this is two inch, let me check. Is it two? Yep, okay. Two inch wide flat stock. We're gonna be cutting these at 45 degrees. And they're six inches long. So, we're gonna have eight of them here, and that's what we're gonna start out with. Okay, so now that I've got all these eight cut, uh, I marked just the top one at 45 degree angles. I've got two inch distance between the points here. And I'm gonna be taking a clamp and I'm gonna clamp these all together and cut them all at once. Using my cut off blade and my grinder, Cut all these at the same time. Hi okay. I I was going to hold them together and cut that way, but I was like, no way. So I clamped them onto the table here, and then cut them with my saw. I had to go through two blades, one blade on one side and the other blade on the other side. Yeah. There we go. There's my gussets. Okay. Maybe I should. And I got all these little pieces here. Hey, maybe I should make throwing stars. What do you guys think? Think I should make some throwing stars out of these corners? Heck yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, well, I'm gonna let these cool off before I start handling them and then uh, start figuring out where I wanna put them. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. I put in this gusset right here. Yeah, it was a little hard. Yeah, my welder started acting up on me, started spitting the damn wire out. Doing that crap again. So I got that gusset in there. Uh, it was one of my 45 pieces that I stuck in there and then took a marker and marked the other side, brought it back over to the table, and then cut that piece off and laid it right in there. Zap, 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 zap. So I've got that one in. I've got this one over here in. That one really started acting up on me. God. Uh, then, now let me go around the other side here. Then put this one in, because remember this angle right here for the pivot was at 90 degrees. So I just laid that one in there and welded that piece into place. Then, what are you doing? This cat right here was a stray. And then she just started coming around. A little feral, you know, she's a little wild. But, I don't know, she just won't leave me alone. What are you doing, huh? Come on. <laughs> Ashley doesn't really like her. Alice likes playing with her. But she just won't leave me alone. Then, after I got those in there, in both sides remember that angle piece that I welded in when it was flipped upside down well I came in there and I welded that all up then on the back part of this support here for the pivot I welded that up uh, let me see here. what else did I do on this um, oh here's a little idea that I'm trying to I'm trying to come up with here Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. Now, remember when I said that I wanted to put in 
the support bars right here where I would eventually put um, you know maybe mirrors or whatever well I'm gonna have to I get the seat in here and everything. I'm gonna have to put probably straight bars uh, to figure out a spot down here to connect them. But then, once I connect those, then I'm gonna build on a piece that comes out where the steering wheel is gonna be. So I'm gonna need to stick some bars in right here. Or something like that. No, maybe for the back. Right there. I don't know. It just doesn't... It doesn't look right. I don't know. Is it an angle? Of course, I don't have to use this kind of steel either. But it would be st structurally stronger for the f this area right there if I use the same type of steel. But uh, maybe I could branch off the front end there and then just put in some flat stock going here, cut a notch in this, and then slide the flat stock down in there, weld it down there, and then weld up here. I don't know. God dang it. Leave it. I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't know. I could use some flat stock here. I could use the one by one square tubing. I could probably use half inch square tubing. Well, no, I don't really want to go with half inch square tubing. It'll be thinner, but it's that the half inch square tubing only comes in 0.062. Or maybe it's 0.065. Yeah, 0.065, which is real thin walled crap, and it's not. I don't know, maybe I could use that. Ah. I don't know, I'll play around with this a little bit, guys. See, that's the way the bar would look if I went more straight up and down. And then fill this in with something, some type of mesh maybe. Some of the paneling that will be going on here will be plastic paneling. I'm going to have to find some black stuff and I'm not too sure where in the heck I'm going to find that. But, because this, this machine is going to be primarily black with a few white accents. All right guys, so I'm just gonna be doing some small stuff on this for Thursday's video. Uh, that'll probably start messing around with the rear end, getting the rear end set up, putting on the brake, that sort of stuff, figuring out how I'm gonna set up the uh, brake caliper, all that kind of crazy. But anyways, I've been having, um, getting a lot of PMs now about people asking me to do builds. Uh, if I could build a go-kart for them, no, I don't do that. There's just too much behind that and then the ship via freight and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that. Technically, my shop here is a production area and my builds are my props. So that's what how I classify all this stuff. I was, uh, I've was i been thinking about doing a uh, video series for the future, but I'm not too sure which one I should do. Uh, the first video series that I'm thinking about doing is a an accessory video series on how to do uh, extra stuff on your machines like uh, mud flaps or hooking up lights or hooking up LEDs, stuff like that, batteries, that kind of stuff. I've been thinking about doing a little video series on that. Doing a video series on how to effectively grow your YouTube channel. Uh, how to tag videos, how to label them, how to put the right type of titles in, stuff like that to help you grow your YouTube channel. There's two video series that I want to put out, but I'm not too sure which one I want to do, you know, one or the other. Uh, I might do both, but not at the same time. So I'll let you guys decide on that. Would you guys want me to do a video series on 
how to grow your channel and how to operate your channel in an effective way or hey hush no you hush yeah you you're screwing up my video go away yeah okay that or to do a video series on doing some accessories for your go-karts or your lawnmowers or whatever you want to do uh, showing you how to wire things up and that sort of stuff so I'm going to leave that up to you guys so you can post down below if you want to see a video series on growing a YouTube channel or accessories, extra stuff that you can put on your go-kart or your machine or whatever your build is. So I'll leave it up to you guys. So anyways, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Hello everybody. You guys getting used to the uh, Google Plus comments yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm getting a little confused on some of these comments because my email says I got a comment and then I'll go and I'll look and I'll be like, no, I don't. But, you know, it's, it's I'm still trying to get used to it. There have been a few comments out there that I've tried to respond to, but it, I get this error message saying that I can't respond to this message. So I don't know what's going on there. I think it's just because the person I'm trying to respond to doesn't have a Google Plus account. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here, so I'll talk at you later. Post a comment down below. See you later.